This is one of the most simple mob farms you can make in your Minecraft world. This is great for your early on world. As you can see, I've started a brand new survival world, and this is going to help me not only get a good source of food, but a nice source of wool, and it costs very little materials, it uses very little space, and it's super easy to make. So, here's what you need. You're going to need one chest, one hopper, a single uh, fence block, preferably a wood fence block, one single stair block, about probably 10 building blocks, and then a bucket of water. Once you have all your materials, and again, this is a very small material list, you're going to gather them, and you're going to go to an area, you're going to need a small space, where you're going to want to start this farm. As you can see, I'm putting this farm right next to where I kind of started my basic survival base. You're going to start by digging a 1x2 hole into the ground, or if you can build it up, that's fine. You're going to take your chest and place your chest in one of these blocks, and then grab your hopper and place your hopper facing into the chest. So it should be a hopper facing into the chest, and then once you have that, take a building block and put it on three of the four sides of the hopper, leaving the chest space open above. Now take a temporary block, place it next to the chest, grab your stair block, and place it upside down over the chest. You can then get rid of this temporary block. The reason we're doing that is so we can still open the chest. After that, grab your building blocks again and place them above all the blocks, including the stair blocks, one block higher. So if we put a temporary block here and then come above, we should have a little funnel or a chute that is two blocks high while still being able to open and access the chest. Now, we're going to need our sheep. You can use cows, sheep, pigs, whatever you want. I'm using sheep for this particular one just because they're the closest and the easiest. You're going to use uh, whatever you have. I'm using wheat to lure my sheep towards the top of the machine or the, the farm. And then once you have them up here, you're going to hold the wheat so they, you know, they, they still want to follow you. But you're going to kind of nudge them in the right direction, trying to get them in this one by one hole here. This is going to be the, probably the worst part of the farm, just because it's just annoying. I found that if you kind of crouch and go around the perimeter of the farm and kind of just circle around them, they will eventually just fall in. Um, so it's just a matter of time. As you can see, that one plopped right in. And then you just need two to start this farm. If you have only one, it's not going to work. So now that you have two mobs in, that's all you need. If you place a bucket of water down here you'll notice that the mobs will jump up and be constantly moving. Now, we want to make it so they're constantly moving, but they're not going to accidentally jump out of the farm. So if you place a temporary block with a fence block above it and then place your water, you'll notice that the mobs will constantly move, but they won't be able to jump out of the farm. The reason we want them to move is that way when we uh, feed them the wheat to get them to produce a baby sheep, uh, they're not going to stay stuck in the same position, and we won't have uh, lost production. So once they produce one baby, you're going to continue to breed them until they produce up to 22 mobs. At that point, you'll notice as you give them wheat, they'll start killing off the oldest sheep, and then uh, all the loot will be transferred into this chest. So you start off with two, and you constantly give them more and more wheat until it starts to work. Um... And then it simply just crushes the eldest mob and makes us the most simple farm you can possibly make. Two sheep and some wheat and a couple of building blocks. I hope this helps you in your Minecraft world because I know it helps me in mine. Alright, take care.